Uh, this is a maybe some may say this is a mean question. I don't think it's that mean, but you know, you haven't been great this year. So, uh, is it weird sometimes, like for division rivals, like if you haven't gotten a hit against a team, to be like, hey, oh, I just got a hit, my first hit against the Cubs in the middle of July. Do I go, do I stand on first base and be like, hey, Rizzo, how was the off season? It could. I, lo- <laughs> I love talking to Rizzo at first base. But it was- we always have some good conversations over there about who knows what. It just kind of depends what's going on or how we're both doing at the time. We kind right. of laugh at each other. Yeah. We laugh at each other about how hard baseball is sometimes. Yeah. So he's a great guy, man. I love I love talking to him over there. Um, I really like – I mean, I know it's a rivalry, but I really like all those guys over there. They're, uh, they're good dudes. We've had some passionate games over the years, but – um, I don't believe you. Fun, I don't believe you with Wilson Contreras. It feels like every. I have a theory. Actually, here's my last last question. I have a theory that it's just if you're a good catcher, you should be hated by the other team. Like the catcher position is is somehow always the most hated guy on each team. Really? I feel like that's the case because I don't know. There's no, like I mean, I've always had good conversations with Wilson. You know, you go to the plate. I always say hello to him. We've played against each other for a long time. Obviously respect him he's beaten us a few times on his on his own he's literally hit a few walk-off homers against us i think so um super talented there's always going to be that rivalry when you play each other so much but you gotta you gotta respect like how talented people are and the way they play the game and there's obviously um a lot of those guys on on the cubs are very talented and um we've had some good fun battles and we've come out on top on some they've come out on the top on some and like I said, who knows what's going to happen here in the next few months. But, um, you know, Riz, KB, Javi, Wilson, like that core over there, we've, we've had a we've had a good run against them. And I've always enjoyed playing against them, even though it's it's a rivalry and the, and the two fan bases don't really get along. I think the, the players do. We've had a couple of dust ups. We've had a couple of benches clearing things. Yep. But there's never been any there's never been any fight and just the, the occasional occasional shouting across the way at each other. But that's yeah. really been about it. Will you sprint to first base on your next walk for us? Patrick Wisdom uh, said he would. I don't know if he ever did. He kind of did. He, he like jogged lightly. Yeah. It's it's my favorite move in baseball. Please. Just a full sprint? Yeah. Like, yes. uh, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo from the Mets does it every time. Yes, yeah. do it. Eckstein used your to do it. Your next walk. Yeah. Just a sprint and a breakdown at first base. Yeah, yeah. Just run it for show some don't, muscle. There are don't a lot of turn towards second you at home. Yeah, don't turn. Right, towards I can't second. turn towards second because yeah. it, you know, it gets heated after that happens. You know, I don't. I don't you really did. love that. You one. did. The hips moved. I watched it like six times the, the before this interview. The hips but, moved. But I didn't move my shoulders or anything. Like, I didn't attempt to. There was no way I actually went to second base. There was I a shimmy. Believe. There was a but shimmy. The, like, in basketball, you guard the guy's hip. You guard guard the guy's belly button because he can't go anywhere without it. You, your, your torso moved. My belly button was looking right at the foul pole. I don't, I don't care know. what you said. Just straight know. on deadlock. <laughs> staring it down. Staring it down. Oh. So how are you gonna know if I how are you gonna know if I sprint on a walk though? I feel like you're not locked in on every Brewers game. I'm not. There'll but be highlights. W- people will say like, "Oh, he sprinted on the walk," and then we can we can be like, "Yeah, he respects 90," and then we'll put this clip in. That should also be a. It's gonna be a sports center top ten play. Just the the hustle that you would show. That's fair. I got you know, you got to do something every night, you know, to contribute to a win. And so I haven't really been I haven't really been getting the big hit lately. So I can hustle. I can give hard 90s. Yes, like you exactly. Said. You know, trying to get out of the 90. slump. Uh, yeah. just set the tone, set the tone, do the little things right, and the big things come. That's what they say, right? Yep. Yes. Little things add yeah. up to big things in the long run. And I'm watching this replay again. Your belly button moved. Your belly button no, moved. No moved. chance. It did. You, listen, Shohei Otani See, is, is the face the of baseball. The, first, the conversation at first base kind of went like this, and then it escalated a little bit, and I got thrown out. So <laughs> I'm going to get thrown off the podcast here pretty soon, too. <laughs> You're the belly button of baseball. Yeah. It oh, moved. Man. I would have yeah. called it the well, same exact way. I would have called it the same exact way. We just played too many games. We played too many games, all right? You know, things were heated. <laughs> passions were high. Mm-hmm. Guys being dudes, you said, you know, and then yeah. one thing led to another, and one of us had to leave the game early. All right. All right. Well, well, you're out of here. Yeah, we're, we're good luck for the rest of the season. Now that the Cubs are in full rebu- rebuild mode again, um, I, I, I wish you personal success. I hope you – have a great second half. It would be great if you just rattled off an incredible second half and it's just you have to come on this show to to find your magic. I'm serious. If I, if I have a, if another great second half, but this is going to be a, a yearly thing for the rest of my career on the, on the All-Star break. We're coming on PMT and just yep. getting the bump. And maybe a, little bit of your, maybe a little of your salary goes to us. Well, it depends. You know, it depends if it works or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What does work you know? mean? What if you, if you hit 20 home runs in the second half? Yeah, sure. 
So we get That's a little a of your salary. Good number, right? Twenty home runs in the second half, we get a little of your salary. Twenty five percent of your salary. <laughs> for every home run you hit, we get that. No, percentage. for let's say if 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 you hit twenty home runs in the second half, you give this podcast fifteen thousand dollars. Twenty homers in the second half. Yes. Mm-hmm. What do we'll we get? Sp- what are we spending? What are we spending? It on? Well, you know we're what? Gonna, yeah, you know, we're we'll going to do a parlay. Together. No, 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 no. We'll go to. Uh, We'll come out. We'll do – where do you live in the offseason? California, right? Scottsdale, Scottsdale, Malibu, yeah, kind of all over. Okay, perfect. So if, if – We'll, if we'll you, go shopping? You know, if you hit 20 home runs, then we'll come like stay – we'll do like a weekend where you like, you know, put us up at a five-star resort. We all hang out. We play wiffle ball, and you take us out to dinners and shit and just like on Christian. Shoes, new shoes. We get matching outfits, so it doesn't have to be cash. But you have to spend guys, it on guys us. trip. We're going yeah. on a guys trip. You know, remember Brewster's Millions, the uh, the, yeah. the the movie. You have you have to spend fifteen thousand dollars on us in a weekend. All right. I like that. Okay. Yeah, just a guy's That's trip. Fair. I was going to say yeah, that we take the 15 trip, grand, we reinvest it, and we bet on Christian Yelich <laughs> to hit <laughs> another home run in the playoffs, <laughs> and then if that hits. Then guess well, what? I can't be a part. Of, I yeah, can't, can't be a part. Oh yeah, yeah. He can't be a part of that. Yeah, he can't be a part of that. So it'll so be a guy's trip. You'll spend it on us. Twenty thousand. Let's say twenty. Come on. Twenty for twenty. Hey, well, twenty for twenty. Fine. How about twenty home runs? Is a lot of home runs. In the second. That's half. a lot of home runs. I think. I think the yeah. My MVP half was like twenty five or something like. Right. That. All right. So this is good. Twenty for twenty. If you hit twenty home runs, we'll do a Brewster's Millions, but it's twenty thousand dollars weekend where Christian just spends it on us and we just go and fucking ball out. Yeah, we'll go. We'll do something fun, guys. Weekend. Yes, mm-hmm. and I love this. If you want to bump it up to a hundred thousand, we'll eat each other's assholes. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is when we always <laughs> yeah, negotiate ourselves out of something. Yeah, we we should. We say, think about think think about the hundred thousand. <laughs> we'll think about it. All right, twenty home run watch starts today. I fucking love this. Love it. All right. Be locked in. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. 